What's up, y'all? It's Jeffrey back here at Flipping Profit, where we create financial freedom one flip at a time. And in this video today, I'm gonna show you my best options that I've found so far on shipping clothing. I'm gonna give you a couple different examples. So if you're new to reselling, this is definitely gonna help you understand uh, your best options on shipping clothing and will also most likely save you some money. Even if you're an experienced seller, you know, maybe there's a few options that um, you haven't tried out before and um, you might can save some money in the future as well. But before we go on with the video, hit the like button and subscribe if you hadn't already so you don't miss out on any more eBay tips. So we're gonna start with the cheapest options, of course. Um, if you have a first class item, that is 16 ounces or less, most likely t-shirts, um, shorts, athletic pants and athletic wear um, sometimes like jogger jackets and stuff like that the windbreaker type jackets those can also fall under 16 ounces so you're gonna ship those first class and what I use to ship those items is a 9 by 12 poly mailer this will fit most small t-shirts shorts uh, even like track pants and stuff like that and what you're gonna do is just stick it in the poly mailer seal it up and go by the weight and if it doesn't fit in the 9 by 12 the next option I use is the 12 by 15 poly mailer and there are sizes in between these two but the reason I go ahead and just get the 12 by 15 is because I actually with my um, premium store subscription through eBay they give me a $50 coupon every quarter which is every three months I get a $50 coupon to buy shipping supplies from their store so I actually get these poly mailers for free and if the item happens to be a little bit smaller than that poly mailer I just go ahead and fold it all the way over seal it and go by the weight and so really quick on the computer let's go through this is just a uh, imaginary let's say if your item weighs 10 ounces oh and if you notice eBay just recently changed the way their shipping page looks and they also some of the um, different options through USPS change so this is actually the perfect time for me to be showing you this now one thing we need to note is that once again I have a premium store subscription I am also a top rated seller and so I get some benefits eBay gives me a shipping discount so if you're a brand new reseller your shipping fees are most likely going to be a little bit more than this but just for sake of showing you the comparisons between shipping rates um, I'm just going to show you what I pay so let's put in the dimensions and the weight 10 ounces 9 by 12 by 2 and if you see at 10 ounces first class shipping is going to cost me four dollars and six cents so that's at 10 ounces let's just say if we had some small shorts and they were five ounces the dimensions are about the same look first class shipping would be three dollars and 36 cents and at the most um, let's say at 16 ounces or it would do 15.9 um, first class would be five dollars and twenty four cents um, but once again if you don't have the shipping discounts you're probably looking at about six bucks maybe a little bit more than that and so that's for first class shipping anything over a pound once you get into like pants um, thick cotton shirts uh, small jackets even we're gonna want to look at the flat rate envelopes so let's change this weight to two pounds and just for example let's say if we put a pair of pants that's about two pounds inside that big poly mailer 15 by 12 by 2 if we go by the weight it's gonna be a priority mail package and it's gonna be nine dollars and 41 cents but if we come up here and click carrier packaging here's the option for a priority mail flat rate envelope now this is the 12 and a half by nine and a half flat rate envelope and here I'll show you a quick example of how I fold my jeans I like to do one fold over and then I kind of do two more folds not directly in the middle but kind of putting it in threes and then folding it together and it fits perfectly down in the twelve and a half by nine and a half and that's gonna cost us six dollars and seventy five cents but let's say if you have some big wide pants you know that might be like size 40 by 34 or something like that they might not fit in the um, 12 and a half by nine and a half so the next option they have is a legal flat rate envelope it's a lot wider it is a 15 by nine and a half and it's gonna cost you seven dollars and four cents so both of these are still a lot cheaper than if you were to go by the weight, which would be $9.41. So 
And let's say you have a small jacket that weighs about the same amount, two pounds or less, but is a little bit too big and fluffy to stick into the flat rate envelopes, your next bet is gonna be the padded flat rate envelope. And as you can see right here, it is also 12 and a half by nine and a half. It's more like a poly mailer with um, bubble wrap inside of it. So uh, it can fold around the jacket a little better. You kind of have to roll that jacket up tight and stuff it down in there. And also here's a tip on how I close mine. Um, just go ahead and push down on the top of it, pull off the tab and then fold the package over on top of the seal. And that will make the seal nice and tight and clean. And this padded flat rate envelope is go only gonna cost $7.33. So once again, a lot more cheaper than going by the weight. Now for whatever reason, sometimes it is cheaper to choose priority mail over these flat rate envelopes or the padded flat rate envelope. Um, sometimes the location is close enough that the shipping fees really aren't that much. So for a small jacket like this, I would recommend putting it in that 12 by 15 poly mailer. Or if you don't want to buy any of those and you don't get free ones like I do, Another alternative is the Tyvek envelope. I think that's what they call it. It's a USPS priority mail envelope. And it is also, it's actually 11 and a half by 15. You can get these for free from the post office or get them off their website. I have a link down in the description. So this is also another great alternative. You can put small jackets in these and stuff like that. That's once again, only if the weight shipping is cheaper than one of those flat rate options. One thing to note though, these envelopes do say priority mail on them so you can't put shirts or anything like that in it and try to ship it first class you will get recharged for uh, priority mail shipping so uh, don't make that mistake like i did <laughs> now let's say for the sake of the argument what if you sell two pairs of pants um what's the best option for that or you know two or three uh shirts at one time to one seller either you can try to stuff them inside a padded flat rate envelope that works good sometimes or the next best bet that i usually use is the regional box a this box is approximately about 10 by 7 by 5 inches and it's actually perfect for fitting about two pairs of pants in it now this is a regional rate box so depending on how far the shipping goes um sometimes it's super cheap sometimes it can be a little bit expensive so once again, always check your options. In this case, it looks like, based on the destination, it would only cost me $9.70. Let's go back to custom size, and let's say if these were two pairs of pants, it would more likely be something like four pounds, and we'll change that up to four inches as well. And so the priority mail price would be $13.34. So it would be a lot cheaper for me to ship two pairs of pants through a regional box A which is $9.70. Or what if you have a large jacket that you wanna ship? Sometimes it's best to go by the weight and once again, use that 12 by 15 poly mailer to uh, stuff a big jacket in. That can be pretty hard sometimes. And if it doesn't fit inside the regional box A, maybe you can try the regional box B. This box is approximately 12 inches by 10 and a half by five and a half. And it's perfect for really big jackets or multiple clothing. And once again, it is a regional rate, which means based on the location, it might be super cheap. It might be a little expensive. I've seen sometimes these regional rate box B only ship for about 10, 11 bucks. But in this case, based on the location, it would cost us $15.67. That's usually the one I check first, and then after that, just to double check, the next box I would wanna check is the medium flat rate box. This box is approximately 11 inches by nine by six. And for me, with my shipping discount, the medium flat rate box is only $12.42. Like I say, for you, it's gonna be a little bit more. I think they're originally around like $14, $15, I think. But um, so for me in this case, I could stuff that jacket inside a medium flat rate box and ship it for $12.42 rather than $15.67. And that's also still cheaper than the $13.34 that I would have to pay if I shipped it by the weight. And then after that, the next one up would be like the large flat rate box, but I really seriously never really use that one. It goes up to $17, so you would be better off just going by the weight before you shipped in that one. Um, and the only other options they have are the Express and only ship Express if the uh, buyer asks you to ship Express. So that's really about it. All the way from small clothing to big clothing. That's how I break down my shipping. That's the order in which I go through the options to uh, find out which is the best shipping solution for me. 
and which is going to save me the most money. So I hope that taught you everything you need to know about shipping clothing. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more big flips. If you're new to reselling and need some shipping supplies on the cheap cheap, check out some of my affiliate links down in the description. If you purchase something through one of those links, I make a small commission and it directly helps support the channel, so I appreciate it. Thanks to each and every one of you for watching my videos, and until I see you next time, keep flipping. <music>